My name is Tim Kopanese and I'm a painting and decorating lecturer. I had two roles in this project. Uh, the first role was as project manager and I was responsible to oversee the project team and progress of the project itself. The second role I would play was a content expert and I compiled the written, the photographic and the video content of learning. My name is Callan Rose and I'm the e-learning advisor for Polytechnic West. Uh, on this uh, project, my main role was to be the movable expert. So my name is Helen Kwok and I'm the multimedia designer in the team. My role was to create and design all of the graphics and the interactive learning resources for this project. Well, to operate a painting business in Perth uh, and in some northern and southern townships requires a painter to be registered. Now, with the introduction of a new legislation, all painters in WA had to be registered, but this would disadvantage regional painters as training was only available in Perth. So we saw this as an opportunity to provide training online. So once Tim had his project idea finalised, I then worked very closely with him to review the existing content that's used in his face-to-face -face delivery, and also how to restructure and also reduce that content for an online environment. Once that content has been finalised, I then combine it with the photos and the videos that were taken and then develop the interactive learning modules for each of the topics. Right, so I built a Moodle course to house the learning objects that Tim and Helen had been working on uh, so the students could get access to them anywhere and any time. We also built some short uh, quizzes so that participants could check their knowledge and we uh, used the platform to provide information about the assessment about how participants could uh, collect and submit their evidence online. The best part of the project was definitely working with a team of really talented individuals. Uh, in particular working with Tim, I think that he's really passionate about his work and he's a great role model for the rest of the lecturers here within our organisation, particularly the trades lecturers. Uh, Tim's always open to new ideas and he trusts our expertise, so I had a lot of creative freedom in my role. Well, seeing a project from its inception to its conclusion gave me a lot of satisfaction. Also knowing that the completed product would serve disadvantaged painters within my industry was another way that I felt I could contribute back to the industry. And uh, the worst aspect, just like all projects, is uh, working to a tight schedule and timeline and it's just never having enough time. And as an extension of that, probably not getting to push the envelope as much as we would have liked to do, researching different technologies and new ways of, of developing the content. Worst? Well, I remember when filming the videos I chose to do, what we uh, call face-to-face -face camera, is where I was looking straight down the lens of the camera, which made it difficult to remember my lines. There were a lot of outtakes, which lengthened the recording time, but it made a lot of hilarious bloopers. My advice to someone else doing this project would be to really concentrate on uh, trimming down the content that they have to begin with, really going through and reviewing what needs to be in there versus what's nice to be in there, uh, comparing it against the skills and knowledge outlined in the unit of competency. I would probably restrict myself to perhaps uh, one main role and not spread myself too thin. At times I found myself juggling too many activities which were stressful. So delegating more to other team members and perhaps even having an extra team member would have been prudent. Uh, my one piece of advice is to keep it simple and to have fun. You know, if you have fun developing this learning resource for your students, it's very likely that they'll have fun too.